Hey tribe, welcome to HD Designs Crochet. I'm Heather and this is my channel HGDC, HD Designs Crochet and it's all about crochet and being a crochet designer. So today I've got a little video for you about some patterns I'm about to release. Whew. Now today I am not wearing handmade other than on my feet because it's so warm, I put the heating on and I've got my snugs on my feet and I don't need anything else. Um, but I do have this behind me and it's the start of a granny square blanket. Let me show you a little close up. They are three round granny squares uh, covered in alby hair, sorry. Three round granny squares that I have started to put together for a blanket love it um it's currently living on my chair and i will add to it as and when so you will get updates on that and oh look at that you'll get updates on this in the coming months so if you are brand new hi hello and welcome to the tribe and if you're returning what's good what's happening how has your month been how's crochet treating you how's life treating you um i have got some patterns to show you that I have finally got ready to release. I'm so excited about this. Um, any long-term viewers will know that I got COVID in July and it basically wiped me out for like eight weeks and it put everything behind. And I just started to get on my feet around June, July, having been not very well at the very end of 2020. So, I just, I have so many patterns that I want to release um, and it's finally happening. The first one I'm going to show you is this one. Why is it whenever I pick it up I find an end? This is called Toasty. It is a crochet hand cosy. It's beautiful. Um, I made this because I really struggle with my circulation. So this is something that's going to keep my hands really toasty in the winter. I just love it. Um, I've made it quite big so that when I've got my bulky winter coat on, there's like enough space for me. And it's made out of a double knit, spot the end. It's made out of a double knit yarn. Um, they are four round granny squares. It's lined with this beautiful velvet yarn, which is um, Flutterby by James C. Brett. I will link it below for you in case you want to check out the yarn. And um, then I have trimmed it with this faux fur. It's just lovely. I absolutely love it. Um, if you re will remember, was it late 2019? I ordered loads of random textured yarns because I really wanted to put out a winter collection. And um, when I was making this, I was like, oh, really nice if it was fluffy. So I lined it with the velvet, which is a really, really great yarn to work with because of that definition. You can really see the stitches. Um, and then I just put this around the edge because this isn't as easy to see the stitches. Um, you can sort of pull at it and feel the stitches, but in terms of seeing them, not as great. Um, I do think that knitting this sort of yarn would be easier because the stitches would remain on your needle. So maybe like a Tunisian crochet would work for that reason. Don't know, not great at Tunisian crochet. But in terms of actual crochet, it's a little bit tricky. So that is why it's lined in this gorgeous velvet because it has a really good definition compared to this but it's so beautiful, I absolutely love it. So this is one of the patterns that's coming out this weekend and I am um, just admiring it. <laughs> it's been tested and some of my testers have gone cray cray with the colors and I just love them. Um, so yeah, I am looking forward to seeing lots of people rocking this in the winter um, and I'm gonna get a lot of use out of this. Like. I don't go many places, don't know if many of us do, but when I do pop out, this is the one. I also am thinking of putting like um, a chain on it so that I can have it around my neck and then I can like go hands free. 
So like when I'm walking my dog or whatever, it's there to put my hands in when I'm ready. So that's pattern number one. It's called Toasty. I will link all of the yarn below and I will link the pattern. Um, all of my patterns are available via Ravelry, my website, Etsy, uh, Love Crafts. So I'll link them below for you to go and have a little look. So that is Toasty. Double knit yarn. Um, you know I love my glitter yarn, so I've joined that in the glitter black. Can you see it? And then um, the centres is just using odds and ends and scraps of double knit yarn. Um, it just works. It just works. Really, really pleased with this one. My next pattern is my snugs, which is currently on my feet. And because they're currently on my feet, they're covered in quite a lot of albi hair. I don't want you to see it like that. So I'm putting video on now for you to see. I might have another one to show you. So I'm going to put a video up of my pair that I'm wearing but then also I've got this other sample to show you and I, this is the larger size. So these are my granny square slipper boots. I've called it Snugs, S-N-U-G-G-S because they are so snuggly and they are um, granny squares lined with the chunky yarn, the velvety yarn. And then again, um, on my finished ones, I have lined them with the fluffy as well. Put that back on, it's cold. Um, <laughs> I made them because I just wanted some really cosy granny square slippers. I just needed something soft and warm and that I could just throw it in the washing machine as well because I may have mentioned it a few times, but I have a dog and he's kind of still a puppy. And things can sometimes get muddy and messy and I just needed something that I could just throw in the washing machine and then put back on when they're dry. So, it's a really, really simple construction. Um, it's granny squares that are then joined together. So, the foot is made out of three. One, two, three. Not the foot, the ankle. And then the foot is made out of two granny squares. And then you've got the top of the foot is another granny square. And then you simply shape the toe. And then you make the lining and then you put them together, weave in the ends. It's not quite done that yet. Um, and there you go, slippers. Really, really simple, really, really quick. These would be perfect for anybody that has Christmas gifts to make. This is the pattern for you. Uh, Secret Santas, this is the pattern for you. Any friends that you want to bless, any family you want to bless, these. I have got two friends that I want to make these for for Christmas um, and actually it's probably a good thing because I could do with taking a few more pictures and videos but I've worn mine so they're not really presentable now. Um, yes, so snugs and again my testers have really come through, I'll put some of those on the screen for you as well. Um, and show you what they have done and the different colours they've gone with. Now you make the inner and outer separately. Um, so when you're making it, it might look a little bit big and you think, will it fit? And then you, um, as long as you've got gauge, when you put them together, they fit. And they're a little bit oversized and they're a little bit snuggly, but that's, they're supposed to be, you want like something really warm and they're just, Oh, it's just so nice to put them. So, I've got my granny square slippers, but they are warm and fleecy. So that is my snugs. Another pattern that I'm releasing this weekend. The third pattern I'm releasing this weekend is granny squares, of course. It is a granny square cardigan. I'm just gonna put it on, because now I've said I'm warm, I've gone a bit chilly. It is a chunky granny square cardigan. This is called All Sorts. It was named by a lovely person on Instagram. I put that on the screen for you. I'm just going to get rid of the Albi hair. Black is not the colour for me anymore because Albi just 
sticks to everything. But what I did was I held a double knit yarn together. So two strands of double knit yarn. So you can use chunky yarn or you can use double knit. I like using the double knit because one, I have lots of it, and two, it means that you can hold the black throughout and then have a different colour and it just brings it all together. You might have noticed the black is my colour. Might have noticed. So the um, sleeves are half double crochets. Blink your neck, Albus. The sleeves are made from half double crochets and it's meant to be just a big oversized snuggly cardigan that you will throw on when you're in the house and maybe just have like your comfies or your pajamas underneath and it's just that added extra layer of warmth um maybe you're about to sit down for the night put your feet up you've got your snugs on you're working on another crochet project you've got this on maybe the fire's on and it's just so nice and warm yes so absolutely love this of course you can wear it out and about as well and I, I've worn this out of the house quite a few times but I just really like how it's just so warm it's like a big hug let me stand up chunky crochet cardigan warm snuggly beautiful I'm so pleased I'm so proud of this one and I've put instructions in there on how to lengthen and shorten your sleeves um, if you wanted a longer cardigan if you wanted it to be smaller like I've put quite a lot of like alteration information on there and um, because we're all different we all like our different we all like our different fits, don't we? Again, this one has been tested. I will put pictures on the screen for you of my lovely testers that have completed. And again, it's one of those patterns that you can just use up quite a bit of yarn. Um, I'm tempted to make another one entirely out of scraps, so it's just all random colours. And then maybe like hold a strand of black the whole way through. A little bit like I did with example. Um, I've got like a swatch of it here. Here. so it's double knit held with black this is actually four ply held with double knit but it would look like this but it would be in this cardigan and again it's just a way to use up loads of scraps and then you'd have like a really cute and cozy cardigan so this is all sorts and again third pattern that I'm releasing this weekend it's got all of the yarn information in there I've just used um double knit yarn any brand that you like is fine I've used acrylic um, because that's what I had you can use any blends that you want to work with um or you can use chunky yarn and I used a big hook and it was really quick to make and if you wanted to make it quicker if you did the granny squares all one color it would fly off the hook fly 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 all coming out this weekend which means that you can get yourself a new pattern, get yourself cozy over the weekend and just enjoy making. And if you head over to my Instagram, I put a post up there. Um, There's a little word search and it says, the three words you found describe your weekend. So I feel like you should just um, go and get yourself a pattern, maybe to look at the three words and just know that you're in for a really, really good weekend. Um, and I might post on the screen some of the combinations of words that people have found because some of them are hilarious and some of them just sound absolutely divine. So, that's everything from me. I did want to put out a few more patterns. I was aiming for six, but I've held back two because I wanted to do um, a couple more photos and whatnot before I sent them out to be tested. But that's okay because it just means the next time that you get a granny square drop, you're gonna get even more patterns. So, let me know which one's your favorite. I've got a feeling it's gonna be these. Um, let me know which pattern is your favorite. Go and get yourself a copy of the pattern. If you're on Instagram, let me know what your weekend 
your three words for your weekender and I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye. Thank you.